back guys. Today we're going to look at the IMC homepage. So this is a really basic thing, but in talking to customers and partners and all that lately, I've been kind of figuring out that lots of people are just leaving it the way it is out of the box. And that means that you're really not taking advantage of some of the best that the IMC platform has to offer. So we're, we're going to look at a little bit of the multi-user nature of this. Again, you can have multiple administrators, up to 50 logged into an IMC server at the same time. And it's dynamic content and per user interface customization. So you can actually make the IMC homepage look and work the way that you want it to. And that's pretty critical, right? Take advantage of the tool. Let's take a look. So here we are on the IMC homepage. You can see here we've got some pretty nice HTML5 content. And you can see this is all active content that is getting drawn dynamically from the system. We can click on some of the buttons in some of the individual widgets here, and you can see that we've got routers, switches, wireless devices, SDN devices, and so on and so on. And each of the individual windows um, can refresh themselves. You can also see the status, right? You've got CPU, you've got memory, and as we scroll down here to the bottom of the page, we've got the real-time alarms, as well as a topology, lap, uh, a topology map embedded right in the home page. Again, there's a lot of great content here. If you look at the top, you can see that we're logged in as the admin account. So what's really a nice feature of IMC is that the home page is actually a per user function. So every individual user that you've got on the system is going to be able to have their own home page and have their own view of what's important to them um, for their daily job. Right? So this is pretty critical. So if you look at the important devices here, you can see we can change the colors. You know, we could actually change the the name of this individual widget so this doesn't have to be important devices this could be your storage devices or your SDN controllers or your wireless devices and this particular view is going to be based on um, whatever devices specifically you want to have in this view so again there's a lot of flexibility here so you can see in my case I've got pretty much the devices that make up the core of my network a router a switch some um, Synology boxes that for my my storage so the other really nice thing here is that we've got the ability to edit the entire home page and we've got a lot of widgets so by default the base platform will ship with a certain amount of digits I don't actually know the number off the top of my head but there is a lot there and in addition to that all the additional modules that you plug in because IMC does have that modular architecture remember we've got the ability to consume those widgets and put those on individual home pages as well. So if you've got, for instance, a administrator who is a SDN, who's responsible for the SDN management, you've got some widgets there, right? If you've got someone who is your wireless manager, you have, we're down here, five, five pages of widgets here that you're going to be able to look at, 29 different widgets for the wireless characteristics. And again, this is really for a monitoring standpoint not so much a management standpoint, but it gives you a lot of flexibility to be able to see what exactly is available in the system at any point in time. And the other nice thing is, is we can actually drag and drop these things around, right? So we have the ability here to be able to really play around with what's most important to you as an administrator. And like I said before, each and every individual administrator can pick and choose from all the available widgets on the system. And they're going to be able to put those to be able to draw the picture that really helps them be the most productive and most efficient in their daily job. If they're a wireless administrator, they have all the wireless widgets that they're really concerned with for all the devices that they're really concerned with. If they're a overall MPLS administrator and you have the MVM, the MPLS management module, you can have that as your homepage. Really, it's all up to you. And again, this is all available per user and that's the most critical thing. Don't just leave the home page as whatever ships out of the box. Make sure you take a look through the widgets and, and get a real good idea to be able to see what works best for you. And with that, I'll see you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.